there, I'm going to show you how to install actions in elements 11 through 13. And there are two ways to install actions in these versions of elements. One is a very easy and quick way via the action panel, and the other is a little more complicated, but you do get the hang of it, uh, way of the photo effects panel. Before you try and do anything, you do want to make sure you are in the expert module of elements, not the quick or guided. So if you're in one of those, just click on expert. Now, once you are in the expert module, you you want to locate the action panel. You can do that a few different ways. The easiest way is to go to window and then click on the word actions. The action panel will come up. You may also see in instructions clicking on the word more and this panel comes up with all these different options and then you just click on the action tab. Another way is to click on the little triangle next to it and come up to actions. You see all three ways get you to the same place. Once you're at this tab, you're going to go over to the top right corner and there is a little icon that's some lines and a triangle. Click on that and then go down to load actions. Once your Mac Finder or Windows Explorer comes open, you want to navigate to where you saved the folder or the zip file. And it might be your downloads folder, it might be something else you've designated. If you don't know, do definitely check out your downloads folder first. I have moved it from my downloads to Lux, uh, to um, the desktop, and you can see it right here, Lux Velvet Mat. If you go to your downloads folder and you're not seeing a zipped file, don't be alarmed. Your browser may be set to unzip as it downloads. So Safari is one that does that, and I have to go in and turn it off, and every time they update, it does it back. I prefer to download it as a zip and then unzip it myself. So if you are getting it and you don't see a zip file, don't be alarmed as long as you see the folder itself. So then you're going to click on the folder and then go into PSC 11 through 13. Do take note that the Photoshop is here as well as PSC 6 through 10. So regardless of what version you have, all, all that you need is already here. So if you ever upgrade to Photoshop, then here it is as well. And when you go into PSC 11 through 13 folder, you'll see two more folders. One is the action panel, and one is photo effects. This is the first way we're, going, we're talking about right now. And it's the action player or action panel. And we're going to click on the one dot ATN file. Okay, Lux Velvet Matte dot ATN. If you're installing a different set with this video, then just do the same exact thing. Find your folder, go to the elements 11 through 13, go to that folder, and it's one file, and then click open. I'm going to close it up. So you see here it is when it's all closed up. Click on the little triangle and it opens up. And then you can just click on one and then hit play and you'll see it play over here. You can also play things uh, through play actions through the photo effects folder and that is option two. And we see it right here. When you click on effects and at the top, they're like little tabs, but although they don't look like tabs, they're little options, filters, styles, and effects. And this is what I'm fixing to show you how to install them so that you have little thumbnails. And they're the same exact actions that are in the action player. Okay, so here in the action player, they're in a list. They're all in a little folder. And you open it up and you can click and hit play. They're the same exact actions that are right here, but these just have little pictures. And <clears throat> So you can use it this way sometimes, use the action player sometimes, it, it really doesn't matter. Let me show you how to install into the photo effects. Okay, so I'm going to close my elements for this, typically. Okay, so you, um, become, I want to model this for you. You don't want your elements open at the time. You are going to navigate to the photo effects, okay? Um, folder for your action set. So we have Lux Velvet Matte, 11 through 13 actions, 11 through 13 photo effects. Now come in here and click somewhere and then hit Command A, A for all, or Control A, or you can come up to Edit and Copy. Let me come up here. So that, 
oops, come in here and click and we can go to edit, select all, just like that. So there's multiple ways to do it. And then you can hit copy 82 items or you can do control C on a PC or command C on a Mac, C for copy. Okay, so we've copied them. You make sure you've copied them. Now, we're going to go up to the word go in our menu. In the top left side here, go. Go to the computer. Click on Macintosh hard drive, then on library. Now yours may be laid out a little different. It might look like this, okay? Or this, or this, or this. So you can change what it looks like. If you're on a PC, it's going to be over here that you can change how it looks. So I'm going to do it this way, actually. Okay. And so Macintosh hard drive and library. If you're on a PC, this file path, the file path is different. Follow the file path that's in your notes. Okay. There are uh, screen prints and written out instructions on the file path. So I went to Macintosh hard drive library, application support, Adobe, scroll down until you see Photoshop Elements, click on the version you're installing to, so I'm going to do 12, and then Photo Creations, and then Photo Effects, and then come up and go Edit, Paste, or you can do Control V or Command V, all right, if you're on a Mac, Command V, if you're on a PC, Control V, Again, if you're on a PC, your file path would be a little bit different. Not from, uh, from, from application support on, it's pretty much the same. It's before that's a little bit different. So just follow the file path that's in the installation guide you received in your download. So once you've pasted them there, and I've already done it, I'll show you. So if I do, um, all right, and it's wanting, asking me if I want to replace them because they're already in there. So I'm just going to hit stop. I don't want to do any of it. On a Mac, <clears throat> PC users, you can probably go ahead and start your elements and wait for those to, to load in. It'll take it a few minutes, but they'll, they'll show up more than likely. If not, then you need to do the same exact thing that Mac users have to do every time. So Mac users, hear this again. Every time you install Actions via the Photo Effects panel, you have to come and do this. You want to click on the Thumb Database DB3, okay? If we're following the file path, it's Photoshop Elements, the version you have, and then right here we have Thumb Database. You're going to delete that. Okay, throw it away. Then I'm going to click on Locale, and then ENUS. My PS on my uh, my PSC on my de PC desktop, uh, PSC 13. It has a lot of different options, and what this stands for is um, English US. So you might have English. UK or English, you know, CA or all different options. Find the one that says ENUS if you're in the United States, if you're in the UK, but find the folder that works for your area. And then click on media database.db3 and delete it. Don't rename it, just delete it. Okay, I promise you it will re re rebuild. I've been using Elements for five years and not once has it ever not rebuilt. It's always rebuilt and it does exactly as it should. It's not a problem to delete that file. And then you just get out of it and restart your elements. If you have a lot of actions in there already, which, you know, if you already have, then you don't need this tutorial. But um, if you have installed a lot of actions just now, you copied in a ton of them, then it's going to take a little bit longer. But if if, it's, if you're brand new, this is the first time you've installed any actions this way, it's going to go fairly fast. It is much faster on a Mac than on a PC. Okay, so my PC takes a little bit longer. The more RAM you have on your computer, the faster it will be. So if you're working on like a 2 gig or a 4 gig, it might be longer than on an 8 gig or a 16 gig um, RAM. So the stronger your computer, the faster it will be, the slower your computer, the, you know, or the smaller the RAM, then the smaller it would be. Don't try and use elements during this time. Even if it may come up, don't use it. And just let it, let it do its thing. Walk away. If you're on a PC, walk away for like 20 minutes. I highly recommend just don't interfere. If you go in there and it looks like elements is up and it, you know, you start messing with it, you could really interfere with the process of it loading. So just leave it alone, especially if you're on a PC. Now, 
this is already done and you can see it here so when you first come in you want to click on so if it's like this click on FX come up to this top line over here and click on the word effects and it might be on something like faded photo don't be alarmed if you don't see your actions click right down uh, at whatever it says right here again it could say oops it could say <laughs> it could say frame it could say old photo it's just whatever it was on last and then click that drop down menu and go <clears throat> to right there and we will open up a picture Again, how to use these, you just, uh, let's do this one. Just double click on it and it applies the action. You can go over here to layers and see that. Now Elements um, doesn't allow you to look into the groups like Photoshop does and all these actions are grouped. If you happen to see, have a different set and you see some layers that are grouped, that's okay. There is an ungrouping action in this set, it's right here. So now just click ungroup and they're ungrouped for you and you have all your individual layers. I prefer mine grouped personally um, because then I can lower down just that one layer and use the mask to cover up some areas if I need to. But that is how you install actions in elements 11 through 13. And I hope you really enjoy whatever set you've purchased if it happens to be velvet matte. It's one of my favorites, and I hope you enjoy it, and um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let us know.